Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is your girl once again, Cynthia Lewa. How are you guys doing? I trust you're doing very great. Anyways, my husband woke up today and he said he's craving a goosey soup. So, as a good wife that I am, I decided to make a goosey soup for him. But I thought to myself, if I'm going to make a goosey soup for him, why not film it at the same time? So here we are, trying to make a goosey soup. Anyways guys, um, have you subscribed to my channel yet? If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I won't ask what did I do you. I don't know. Eh? Please try and subscribe to my channel, okay? Help me, help your sister out. Subscribe to my channel. Also like my videos and also tell your friends to tell your friends, yeah? Anyways, um, is it only me or uh, ladies? I'm talking to ladies now. Is it only my husband or does your husband also eat your dried fish anytime you want to cook? I mean, anytime you bring out your dried fish to cook soup, does your husband take your fish to eat? Uh, you might almost finish them. I don't understand. Anyway, this is um, what I always go through. <laughs> but yeah, God bless our husbands. They are wonderful. They are sweet people. Anyway, let's hop into the egusi cooking. So guys, this egusi soup that I'm going to cook today, okay? Is going to be the caking method. I'm going to use the caking method to cook this egusi soup. Yeah, everyone has different methods of cooking egusi. Almost everybody knows how to cook egusi soup, but this particular one is my own recipe, okay? And yeah, even though you know how to cook egusi soup, I dare you to try this one. You will like it. And in fact, you abandon the type you used to cook before. Trust me. Anyways, let me show you guys what you're going to be using today in making this egusi soup. So here I have my goat meat, yeah, some goat meat, some shake, and some gomo, as you guys can see. They have been properly washed, and here I have my egusi soup, I mean egusi, <laughs> the egusi, so ground one. And here we have our stock fish, the dried fish, um, the fish, ground. So here we have fresh pepper and a little paprika onions stock cubes some dry peppers salt red oil of course uh, this is ugu leaves okay and water mm? so these are the ingredients we're going to be using today okay and the soup is going to be lit I promise. So guys, first of all, we'll on our heat and then we'll start by adding our onions. Okay. We add some onions. Then we add some salt. Then we add in our pepper mixed with paprika. Now we add in our stock cubes. Now we're going to give it a nice stir. Just mix everything together. We're not going to add water yet. We'll just leave the meat to bring out its own water while boiling. So yeah. Now we leave it to boil. Okay. So guys, the meat has been cooking for about 20 minutes now. Okay. So let's take a look at what is going on inside the pot. Yeah, 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 as you can see, the color is looking so nice, so beautiful. And this is because of the paprika. We're gonna give it a nice stir one more time. And guys, I haven't added any water yet, okay? This water is just from the meat. So at this point, I'm gonna add in a little water. Now we're going to leave it to boil. Keep cooking. Hmm? 
and while we're doing that we'll now start preparing our ABC for caking so we're gonna pour some water here inside the ABC just be careful not to add so much water when you pour a little you mix okay and see the texture so be careful not to over mix with water so you keep mixing and keep breaking down any lump so we keep doing this until we get a very nice um, consistency that is smooth without lumps okay guys um we'll see this later so guys now i've gotten the consistency that i need and i'm going to start um molding now okay just mold your goosey like so like when you're eating eba <laughs> you mold just like this keep molding so the meat has been cooking for a while now and this is what it looks like so now that it's almost done okay i'm gonna be adding the stock fish and the dried fish I'm gonna add in the stock fish because this stock fish is not the hard type it's a soft type so that's why I'm adding it now don't want it to overcook and I'm gonna add in the dried fish Then I'm gonna add in some more water to allow them cook. And I'll cover it and let it cook for some more time. Yeah. So now the meat and fish have been cooking for a while and I believe they are tender now, so they are ready to be used. Now I'm gonna take them off heat, okay, and start cooking the soup proper. Uh, this is it. It's um, cooking very well and looking so good. So yeah guys, um, let's start cooking. So guys, we're gonna start by <coughs> adding some red oil, okay? And then we add in some onions. Now we're going to reduce the heat. Okay. And we'll start adding our molded ABC. Keep adding until you're done adding all of them. So this is it guys, um, we'll start turning over, okay, you, start, you, you turn the ebuti over, you know, to make sure the other side gets the oil, okay, it's quite sticky, so, somehow difficult to turn. So you're gonna keep doing this until you're done with all, and then you leave it for a while to fry, okay. Yeah. So guys, it's been frying for about two minutes now and this is what it looks like, okay? And you have to make sure that you're gently stirring, alright? So that it won't get burnt. If you stir too hard, the equity will start breaking up. So we don't want that. Okay. So we still leave it to fry for a while. 
then we add some stock water okay now I'm gonna add some stock water okay this is the water from the meat see that shape just add and then stir okay gently we stir now you're going to add your crayfish Just leave it now if you're the type that uses ogiri okay if you use ogiri this is the time to add it yeah i don't have ogiri here i'm not using it so i'm just gonna cover the pot all right and let it cook for a while so guys it's been cooking for a while as you can see it's looking so nice and now we're gonna just Give it a nice stir. I'm gonna be adding the meat and the fish here. So guys, now I've added the meat. Okay, I've added everything: the meat, the fish, stock fish, and all. So this is it. Now we're gonna cover it and let it cook. Okay, for a while. You know the secret to a very tasty and delicious. A busy soup is to let the busy cook for a while. I'm going to let it cook for a while for about 30 to 40 minutes from now. So we'll just be adding water little by little, you know, so it won't get burnt. So yeah, that's why you always um I don't know if you notice anytime you cook a busy and you know leave it till the next day or if you keep you know cooking it the other day. You notice that the goosey gets sweeter by day, you know, unlike the first day you cooked it. So that's why goosey needs to be properly cooked, you know, to bring out that deliciousness. Anyway, let's cover the soup and let it cook for a while, and then um, we shall continue. Look at that, <laughs> so nice, mm. and it smells. Oh heavenly now guys we're gonna adjust test but first of all we're gonna add some more water because we still need to cook it add a little more water okay now we'll adjust the test i'll add um, some more pepper and now adding a little more salt then we're gonna stay stay it stay and now we're gonna cover it and leave it to cook for some more time okay So guys, it's been a while now and yeah, this is the soup, cooking and looking so beautiful. So now it's time to add our vegetables. So at this point, if you feel any need to add in some more water, you add, okay? It's your choice. Little by little. When I add, I stir. Look at the color, guys. Huh? Do you like what you see? <laughs> it's looking so nice, and the aroma out here is so tempting. Mm. I'm just gonna add in a little bit more. I 
ended up adding the whole thing so it's okay so guys this is it mm -hmm. your egusi soup is finally ready so if you need to add in a little more water you add in for mine is okay like this yeah so guys this is your egusi looking so nice and yummy and beautiful mm. i can't wait to eat anyways guys yeah I'll show you guys later the end result. So guys, we've come to the end of our egusi cooking. As you can see, this is the result of the egusi. It's looking so yummy and so nice. And the aroma, oh my God, is something else. So delicious. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And I hope you tried this recipe. It won't fail you at all. It's so delicious and so nice. So guys, um, thank you so much. Please, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, try and subscribe and make sure you tell your friends to tell your friends to subscribe. It's very important. It is very important. If you're watching me, please try and subscribe to my channel. Like my videos, okay? Share them, you know, let people know how to cook this special egusi soup. Well, I would like to chip in something, okay? When I say subscribe to my channel, it doesn't cost money. You don't need money to subscribe. All you need to do is go to my YouTube channel. Under my videos, you will see where they write subscribe. Once you click the subscribe button, they will tell you to log in with your Gmail account. So if you have a Gmail email account, all you need to do is just log in with it. And that is it, you subscribe. So please, it's not, it's not difficult. You don't need money. It doesn't cost anything. It's just your time. Just go there and just click like this okay guys please so don't think it's money it's not difficult guys subscribe to my channel and tell your friends to tell your friends to tell your friends i know you guys have a lot of friends just keep telling them to subscribe to my channel let them learn okay let them share all right anyways guys thank you so much for watching and god bless you i will see you on my next video bye